The accuracy with which we can observe our environment through satellites largely depends on the different characteristics of their sensors. It really is up to them how precisely the information about the Earth's surface is recorded. The spatial resolution of a sensor is one of these characteristics. It states in meters the size of the Earth's surface, which is represented by one pixel. But what is a pixel? Most satellite data represent the reflectance of sunlight from the Earth's surface. We call this raster display because each image is a grid of thousands of rows and columns filled with the different reflectance values of the corresponding area of the Earth. And we refer to the individual cells of these grids as pixels. We make a distinction between low, medium, high, or very high spatial resolution. If we compare the following images, we can see that this distinction means in practice. In the left image, the spatial resolution is 30 meters, and in the right image, it is 300 meters. In the first case, one pixel corresponds to 900 square meters. In the second, to 90 square kilometers. Which image has the higher resolution? Exactly, the left one. By comparing the two images, a problem of spatial resolution becomes clear too. Mixed pixels. The lower the spatial resolution, the more frequently objects close to one another are mapped together in one pixel. Since a pixel contains the reflection values of the displayed objects, the value in raster cells with several objects then corresponds to the mean value of the reflection values of the different objects. And thus, a mixed pixel of not one, but of several surfaces is created. With a rising number of mixed pixels, the distinction of different areas in an image becomes more difficult. Why don't we only use sensors with high spatial resolution, so we always have a detailed images of the Earth? Ultimately, the decision is determined by the application of the image, and the following factors are weighed against each other. Which observation system is used? Because it makes a difference whether images are taken from short distances to the Earth's surface, such as from an airplane, or from a far-off satellite. For especially detailed cartographic applications, the smallest possible distance to the Earth is usually chosen. Two, how often is new data from the same area required? A coarser resolution allows a larger extent of the area to be imaged and simultaneously shortens the time in which the satellite flies over an area again. This is especially important for weather satellites. 3. Which wavelengths need to be recorded? The sensors that receive the radiation reflected by the Earth must be smaller with increasing spatial resolution. This also reduces the amount of radiation that strikes these so-called CCD sensors. This can lead to certain wavelength ranges being almost or completely impossible to record. The spatial resolution describes the ability of a sensor to record details. It is given in meters and ranges from low to very high spatial resolution. Whether sensors with high or low resolution are used depends chiefly on the field of application in which the satellite data is needed.